The Nigerian Senate has passed the 6.2 trillion Naira 2024 Appropriation Act Amendment Bill less than a week after President Bolantinubu transmitted it to the National Assembly. This passage follows the adoption of the report of the National Assembly's Joint Committee on Finance, chaired by Senator Sandy Musa and Honorable James Faleke, and presented by the Chairman of the Senate Committee on Appropriations, Adiola Olamileko. The Senate also passed the Finance Act, targeted at funds that accrued to Nigerian banks since the commencement of the current forex regime in the country. This report has details. The two houses of parliament had earlier suspended their rules to accommodate the first and second reading of the bill and referred it to the Committee on Appropriations for further legislative action. Leading the debate on the legislation at the Committee of Supply, Chairman, Senate Committee on Appropriation, Senator Solomon Adiola, disclosed the amendment, which covers capital and recurrent expenditures, includes provisions for key infrastructure projects omitted in the original 2024 Appropriation Act, as well as the recently approved national minimum wage. The committee observed as follows, the need to provide for the government equity component of the renewed OP infrastructural project and other critical project to be undertaken across the country and other requirement expendi other recurrent expenditure requirement like the provision for new minimum wage among others which necessitated the request for the amendment of 2024 appropriation act the senate passed the bill for the third reading after considering all 13 clauses as reviewed by the committee on supply 2024 appropriation act to authorize the issue from the consolidated revenue fund of the federation of the sum of three trillion two hundred billion only for capital expenditure and the sum of three trillion only for recurrent expenditure for a year ending 31st day of december 2024 third reading taken and passed and pray that the amendment will enable the country to reach its El Dorado and bring about a renewed hope and also stem the tide of, um, of protest. In addition, the Senate passed a bill to impose a one-time windfall tax on banks for foreign exchange gains. Chairman Senate Committee on Finance, Sani Musa, clarified that the windfall tax is not intended to be distributed to shareholders on dividend. He also warned that any bank that withholds this tax would be liable to pay an additional 10% of the old amount. The methodology we used was an interaction with the sponsors of the bill, request for stakeholders' inputs and comments and observations of the bill on the bill, review of relaxed existing legislation to meet international best practices, and we reviewed the stakeholders' input and consideration of the draft report. The objectives of the bill is to provide for the imposition of windfall profit levy and assessments and review of profits declaration for deferred payment agreements for financial institutions by Federal Inland Revenue Services. None of the senators expressed objection to the bill and the Senate dissolved the Committee of Supply to discuss the clause-by-clause -clause consideration of the bill. Semisolatikum, TV 360 News.